Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Today in this video lesson we would like to calculate electric intensity at any point P who is making an angle theta with the axial line of a electric dipole. We know electric dipole is a combination of two charges having same magnitude but in the opposite direction. I have considered them as minus q and plus q. Let me imagine these points as something like a, a and b. We know as we have proved in the previous videos of the same playlist and lesson that the electric dipole moment is always from positive charge to negative charge. So if I have to know what is the direction of that electric dipole moment at this point, I could be saying this is the direction of the electric dipole moment P which is actually defined as the distance between the two charges as well as any one of the charge and of course its direction is from negative charge towards the positive charge. But what we need to calculate is moment and electric dipole moment at this point. So I can say on this point electric dipole moment is if I have to know the direction I would like to say as this angle is theta this angle is also equal to theta. So this P being a vector can be resolved into components it becomes an adjacent component who is nothing but equal to P cos theta and it has another component who is a vertical component that is nothing but equal to sin theta. So, the single dipole moment P can behave as if like combination of two dipole moments of P cos theta as well as P sin theta. So, I would like to redraw this dipole what we have taken this dipole A B as two parts. One part of the dipole something like this say I will call this as something like A1 and B1 or A dash and B dash. For this A dash and B dash, this point is on the axial line. So, we know the equation for the electric intensity, we have already derived that formula. So, the total dipole A and B behaves like a combination of two dipoles. One dipole A and B A dash and B dash where the given point is on an axial line as we have proved in the previous class electric field due to that that is there on the axial line can be written like we have written this already 2p by r cube where r is the distance of that particle but here entire p is not acting now on this line but only p cos theta is acting so i have to write that is nothing but equal to p cos theta by r cube that is along the direction of say for example in the same direction that is given. I can say that this behaves like combination of another dipole as something like this. I can imagine one more dipole who is perpendicular to A dash B dash. Let this is A double dash and B double dash where at A is there is positive negative charge and B is there is a negative charge. Then to this point to the second dipole A dash and B dash it acts as if like there is another electric intensity acting and this point for this second dipole behaves as if like it is a point on the equatorial line. So, the corresponding electric field intensity direction is something like this E2. So, I can write a formula E2 is because it is on the equatorial line actually P by R q of course 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is there by default. This is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught axial line double equatorial line only P but not the entire P is acting there only P sin theta is acting there. So, that is nothing but P sin theta by R cube along the given direction. It is very clear from the diagram that this E 1 is perpendicular to E 2 and I want to find out the resultant electric intensity 
due to these two. I can write it like root of e1 square and e2 square. Let us go back and come back to the point that where we are. I would like to calculate electric field intensity due to a dipole AB at a given point. Say this is the point. At that point, electric dipole moment's direction is from minus Q to plus Q, that is from left to right, like as I have shown here. But I can resolve the electric dipole into two parts, two dipoles, A dash and B dash, for which the point behaves as if like it is an axial line due to which electric dipole moment and electric intensity is this much. I can say there is it is a combination of another dipole A dash, A double dash and B double dash for which the same point behaves as if like it is an equatorial line and the electric field intensity direction E2 and its magnitude is this much because along A1, B1 only P cos theta is acting along A double dash and B double dash, P sin theta is acting. Now, these two are perpendicular to each other and I am interested in calculating the resultant of this. Let us calculate the resultant of this. I can write root of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p cos theta by r cube whole square and 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p sin theta by r cube whole square. I want to find the resultant of these two. Let us simplify this. It will be something like 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught square 4 p square cos square theta by r power 6 plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught square p square sin square theta divided by r power 6. If I simplify this further, I can take a term that is in common 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught square is common, p square is common in both the terms, r power 6 is also common. What is remaining is 4 cos square theta and sin square theta. So, I can write these square terms out of the square root. So, the answer will become something like 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught square is there. Now, therefore, out of the square root only one come. Out of p square p will come out of the square root. Out of r power 6 r cube will come to out of the square root. And what is remaining is root of 4 cos square theta and sin square theta. I will write that 4 cos square theta as 3 cos square theta plus cos square theta. And of course, sin square theta is there anyway. I can rewrite sin square theta and cos square theta is 1. It implies I can find a resultant answer now as electric field intensity due to a dipole at any point is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p by r cube square root of 3 cos square theta plus 1. This is the general formula that we need to write and we can change it as per the requirement. Say for example, if the point is on an axial line then the theta value becomes automatically, I can write on axial line. <coughs> on axial line, theta is nothing but 0, cos 0 is 1, then E axial will become 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught P by R cube of square root of 3 plus 1 that is nothing but 2 that gives a general formula for us 2 p by 4 pi epsilon naught of r cube on axial line. Suppose you are writing on equatorial line, equatorial line means that is perpendicular to the axial line. So, the theta value becomes 90 
cos 90 term becomes 0. So, E equatorial will become automatically P by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube root of 3 cos square 90 is 0. So, root of 0 plus 1 that is nothing but equal to 1 that is nothing but this value. This is the way that we are going to find out electric field intensity at a given point. We can also find the direction of this resultant. What is the direction of this? Say for example, if I am interested in calculating. The resultant of E1 and E2 will be somewhere like this in this direction. This is E resultant. Say if this is making an angle say alpha with E2 alpha with the E1, this is the first one, right? this is the second one. Then I can write a formula, tan alpha is nothing but equal to E1 divided by E2 and I can get a value. right? So, if I have to write the angle tan alpha equal to, I can write this is alpha now, so this will become opposite side and this will become an adjacent side E2 by E1. I know the value of E2. I know the value of E1. So, if I divide 4 pi epsilon naught will cancel, R cube will cancel, P will cancel. So, what is remaining is sin theta by 2 cos theta. That is nothing but equal to tan theta. So, we can write a formula as a whole as tan alpha equal to half of tan theta. These are treated like standard results, formulas and all something, but it is very simple to derive. We need not treat them like a formula set line, right. This is how we can find the electric field intensity at a given point of a dipole. Thank you, right. But you can understand this derivation only when you see the previous lessons where I have derived separate equations for electric intensity on axial line as well as equatorial line. Please go and see the previous videos to know the reason behind writing this. Thank you.